Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try the Stouffer's Macfuls. This one is the pepperoni pizza mac and cheese ball. It's pepperoni, mo uh, mozzarella, and white cheddar mac and cheese with marinara sauce. And the pepperoni is made with pork, chicken, and beef. It says it's new. Not sure how new it is, but it was when I bought it. Uh, 29 grams of protein, 100% real cheese. Let's see, this one is a 14 ounce or 396 gram meal. Bought this at Meyer was three dollars and seventy nine cents. I'm sure they sell it at other places. It happens to be where I got it for three seventy nine. That's not too bad because it's a pretty hefty meal. Fourteen ounces is pre it's pretty heavy. Um, Six hundred and forty calories if you eat the whole meal. And there's your other info for you. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so how do we cook this thing? So of course it's frozen. Um, remove the bowl from the box. Cook on high for four minutes and fifteen seconds. Remove the film. Stir and recover. And then cook again for another two minutes. So 415, stir, recover, and two. And it doesn't say anything about venting it. So I'm assuming we don't vent it. It'll vent itself. We have a pull tab, no pull tab. So you get a paper cut. Bonus paper cut when you open these boxes. Oh, I was expecting a black ball like the picture. I don't know why, but it's a, it's a clear ball, whitish clear ball. So it looks pretty good. I'm gonna get it in the microwave and I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, right, so here it is out of the microwave and um, haven't stirred it since that second, that first time I stirred it. Um, the tomato sauce really gets mixed in, so you um, you can't avoid it if you wanted to. It, it, it was all like underneath in the middle, so when you stir it up that first time, you get a, a solid chunk of like icy kind of section in the middle, but that's where most of the sauce was, and the cheese sauce was kind of spread all over the place. It feels like the pasta is really well cooked. I do have to say that very steamy. I mean, it was uh, it was boiling like bubbling when I took it out of the microwave. So it uh, definitely is hot. We'll need some time to cool off. So I'm gonna let this cool off for probably a couple minutes and then I'll be back. I gave it a couple minutes to cool off because it was super hot and it's still steaming a little bit. So here's, um, it's got noodles. It's got a couple pieces of pepperoni in there and cheese, of course, you can see dangling off the bottom. So I can get it an octo over there. super cheesy um it has the it has more of the cheese that you would get from like a um, a lasagna or a spaghetti bake or even a pizza it's got that stringy kind of pull cheese um macaroni and cheese i don't tend to think of as being the stretch cheese it's more of a more of a sauce than a cheese um, than a stretchy cheese this one has like a stretchy cheese i think it's the mozzarella um, the pepperoni in there has a good flavor The pasta's cooked really, really well. Let me get just a piece of, as best I can, a piece of just the pepperoni. They're small little pieces. I do have to say that. They're very tiny little pieces of pepperoni. Let me see. Right there's a piece of pepperoni. That, right there. That's a little piece of pepperoni. Very small like you would get on a, a frozen pizza. That's the kind of size of it. I do like the flavor of the, mostly it is, it tastes more like a, um, more like a lasagna, or it really tastes more like a spaghetti bake, a pasta and cheese and um, and sauce, like spaghetti sauce, a pasta sauce and cheese. That's what it mostly tastes like. The uh, the pepperoni adds a little bit of flavor to it. I don't think it really tastes like, um, what was it, pepperoni pizza or something like that. Uh, yeah, pepperoni pizza. Really not pepperoni pizza flavored because I don't get enough of the pepperoni. I mean, you get pepperoni flavor, it's just not very strong. Um, it's mostly, macaroni and the, the pasta and the uh, tomato sauce and the cheese. That's what you get mostly. I think if the pepperoni had been a little bigger or if it had been like spicier, like if it had been um, a little stronger in the spice department, it would have um, stood out more, but yeah, I just don't get a lot of the pepperoni. There's a little bit there, just not a lot. That being said, I really do like this meal. I love the flavor of it. I like a good pasta bake anyway. Um, a spaghetti bake, you put spaghetti with sauce and put that in a pan and bake it with some, some cheese on top. Love it, it's very, very good. So this reminds me a lot of that kind of meal. So I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I do wish the pepperoni had a little bit more flavor. If the pepperoni had been a lot um, spicier, like a, even, no, I'm not talking hot spicy, I'm just talking spicier, um, like with more spices and stronger, I probably would have given it a five, but but as it is, I'm gonna give it a four. The pasta's cooked perfectly. It's not mushy, it's not hard, it's perfect. 
Um, the cheese is good and gooey, and a tomato sauce has got a really good tomato flavor. So yeah, overall, it's a really good solid four meal. If you don't care about the pepperoni necessarily, you might give it a five. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.